buku karya Greg Talbot, Indonesia Niswanda Australia berjudul The Incubus of Intervention Constituting Indonesia Strategies of John F. Kennedy and Alan Dulles setebal 264 halaman membuka tabir bahwa Presiden Amerika Serikat John F. Kennedy ternyata memiliki keinginan kuat untuk membangun persahabatan dengan Presiden Soekarno yang dikat komunis. Keinginan JFK begitu sapaan John F. Kennedy dihentikan oleh Alan Dulles, Direktur CIA yang justru berencana menyingkirkan Soekarno. Dari buku yang sudah diterjemahkan ke dalam bahasa Indonesia, Bayang-bayang intervensi, Dallas telah terlibat dalam beberapa momen sejarah penting di negeri ini yang dikonfrontasi dengan Malaysia, peristiwa 1965, dan masuknya Freeport ke Papua. Buku ini telah mengubah rumor selama ini tentang CIA terlibat dalam pengurusan dalam negeri Indonesia menjadi fakta, setidaknya fakta akademik. Greg, begitu Indonesianis ini disapa, merekonstruksi secara detail tentang keterlibatan Alan Dulles, Direktur CIA, pertama dari kalangan sipil Amerika, memanfaatkan CIA untuk kepentingan dirinya. Berikut wawancara Greg Paul Green dengan Maria Rita Hasugian dan Maria Francisca dari Tempo pada pertengahan September lalu di Jakarta. Well, it started a long time before, a long time before I uh, touched on Kennedy or even Sukarno. Uh, it started off with uh, just reading in the library of Schopenhauer and Nietzsche, <laughs> all the wrong subjects my mother used to say. Uh, but I somehow got on to reading about New Guinea, and I found that first of all, the early navigators in New Guinea. Early European navigators in New Guinea found that the local people had been trading in gold for centuries, and they were trading gold with the Chinese on the coast, as I said before. So, what got me interested originally was this amazing history of the Papuans going back a thousand years. That's what caused me to start reading about Papua. And of course, I got into Dutch colonial history, then independence for Indonesia, Sukarno, and. Um, Malaysian Confrontation. Yes, that's the book Genesis of Confrontation. And that's when I realized uh, Sakana did not start Confrontation. You know? And that's not my idea, that's, that came from the American Ambassador Jones. He, he knew that was the case. Well, everybody tends to blame Sakana wrongly, particularly in Malaysia. But, um, When, when I realized that Sakano was not the person who started the competency and that Jones had informed President Kennedy, President Kennedy used that information to make stronger ties with Sakano. And it really was quite, quite a good rapport the two had. And that's why Kennedy decided when Confrontasi started and American aid to Sakano stopped, they made an agreement to, for Kennedy to visit Jakarta in early 1964 to stop Confrontasi. And Dean Rusk, Kennedy's former Secretary of State, who I was writing to for several years in retirement, and he was in living in Atlanta, he wrote to me in his own handwriting that that was the agreement Kennedy made with Sukarno when to visit early 64, and the conditions were that Confrontasi would be stopped, not just temporarily, permanently stopped. Sukarno knew that Confrontasi was not in his interest, And Kennedy, certainly not in Kennedy's interest, because it was stopping all his USA that he was planning as a follow-up for the dispute that he settled. You know, when he, when he kicked out the Dutch from New Guinea and brought in Indonesia and Sukarno, and he was trying to boost. But it all went wrong because this man, Alan Dulles, had plans in the pipeline. He'd been planning to oust Sukarno since 1957, and he had really involved plans. Do. And when Kennedy was threatening, planning to to stop Confrontasi, Dulles realised. You know, Dulles had actually warned, uh, warned Kennedy not to follow up the New Guinea crisis with a program of USA. He actually had the high to, to warn him not to do that because Alan Dulles had a, had a hand in starting Confrontasi. 
So he knew what confrontation was all about. Alan Dulles, a little bit of MI6, and Savannah. But Dulles provided small weapons, small arms, 2000, to the Chinese Communist underground in Sarawak. But Dulles, who was head of the CIA, was sometimes working not with the CIA. He was running his own show. You know? So sometimes the CIA got blamed for things they didn't even do. You know? Amazing. Yeah? But Dulles was such a crafty individual. And this, I think this is best exemplified in the 1958 rebellion.